Art is about how we function in the world. And science for me is how the world functions around us. There's always a balance between making something look just amazingly cool and awesome versus representing very correctly the ideas and, and, and process. My job is to sort of oversee all of the visual aspects of our science communication for the public. So if I had to pick sort of my favorite piece, it'd have to be uh, this one. This is a representation of what our Milky Way galaxy might look like if we can look down on it from above. Knowing what the Milky Way looks like is kind of tantamount to having someone like drop you down in the middle of Times Square and say, okay, map out all of Manhattan standing at this spot. But what was interesting for me about this piece of art was uh, there are actually features that I put in here for sort of artistic and best guess reasons that have subsequently been discovered. In particular, uh, this, this outer arm here, it looked terribly lopsided as a galaxy if you cut off this arm here and you had the other arm really nicely down here. And then a couple years later, uh, Thomas Dame, who studies hydrogen gas in the Milky Way, found an arm that followed almost exactly its location and length. Sometimes a piece of art can be considered a hypothesis that then people can go and take further data. When I start into a project, the goal is to really come up with something that works just purely at an artistic level. But if I were to show this to the researchers, I want them to look at it and go, oh yeah, right, that's what it looks like. A good piece of science visualization art is kind of like a movie trailer. It tells you just enough that you want to go see it, and you have an idea of what you're going to get when you go there. But it doesn't tell the whole story, and you need to go to the movie if you really want to get the whole answer. I just came up with that on the spot. I am so using that from here on. <laughs>